What is a solar eclipse? Have you ever looked up at the bright sun and wondered what it would be like if it just disappeared? Well, believe it or not, that can actually happen. It's called a solar eclipse, and it's one of the most amazing events you can witness in nature. To understand what a solar eclipse is and why it occurs, we first need to consider some of the details of the Sun-Earth-Moon system. Let's begin by looking at the size of each of these celestial bodies. The Sun, our star, located at the center of our solar system, has a diameter of nearly 1.4 million kilometers. The Earth, our home in space, has a diameter of only 12,756 kilometers. That means the Sun has a diameter that is more than 100 times bigger than that of the Earth. And what about the Moon, Earth's only natural satellite? Well, the Moon's diameter is only 3,476 kilometers, or less than one four hundredth the size of the Sun. Here's what those sizes look like in comparison to one another. We should also consider the distances between them, as that is key in how and why eclipses occur. While it varies throughout the year, the Earth's average distance from the Sun is about 150 million kilometers. While the Earth revolves around the Sun each year, the Moon is revolving around the Earth at a distance that also varies somewhat over the course of a month, but averages out to about 384,000 kilometers. So, the Moon is much closer to the Earth than the Earth is to the Sun. Here's what the whole system looks like, appropriately representing both sizes and distances. Now, we mentioned that the Moon revolves around the Earth about once a month, while at the same time the Earth revolves around the Sun about once a year. It is these motions that ultimately result in the somewhat infrequent occurrence of a solar eclipse. One additional factor to consider is that the Sun is the main source of light in our solar system, and it is this light that gives us day and night on Earth and also that causes us to see the phases of the Moon each month. Now, with this background information in mind, let's look at what a solar eclipse actually is. These spectacular events occur when the Moon is aligned perfectly between the Sun and the Earth. When this occurs, from a narrow band of locations on Earth's surface, the Moon will perfectly block out the light from the Sun, causing an otherwise normal day to quickly change. Think of it simply as the Moon casting a shadow that passes across the Earth's surface for a period of time. There is, however, one incredibly strange coincidence that comes into play during a solar eclipse. It happens to work out that the Sun is about 400 times larger than the Moon, but it also happens to be about 400 times further away from us than the Moon. The result? Well, the Moon and the Sun appear to be almost identical in size when viewed from the Earth. So when this alignment occurs, if you happen to be in the path of the Moon's shadow, you will see the Moon appearing as a dark disk in the sky, covering the Sun perfectly. When the moment of total alignment comes, known as totality, you will see a spectacular ring of light known as the corona, as intense energy in the Sun's atmosphere is the only bit that is unobscured by the Moon. So, why doesn't this occur more frequently? You might even think we would get a solar eclipse every single month when the Moon is between the Earth and the Sun. However, the Moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted slightly compared to that of the Earth around the Sun. 
And as a result, this perfect alignment is less frequent, with total solar eclipses happening, on average, about once every 18 months. Furthermore, each eclipse has a unique path across the surface, so seeing one where you live is even much less frequent. Here are some of the upcoming eclipses and the paths of the shadows where they will be visible from on Earth's surface. One final note, if you are lucky enough to witness a solar eclipse firsthand, there's one simple rule to follow. Don't look directly at it. It's never good to stare at the sun, but especially during an eclipse when you're tempted to do so, and the sun's rays are incredibly powerful and can easily damage your eyes. The solution? You can wear special glasses that will protect you from the harmful rays of the sun, or you can use an indirect viewing method. Something like a pinhole camera would work great. Additionally, you can watch the many live streams of solar eclipses that occur across the internet. So I'm hopeful that this helps clarify what exactly a solar eclipse is and how this strange phenomenon works. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.